yo, yo, we do people this Nate here. This can. Yo, we are Games Music Life. Um, so we're back to review this Young Thug project mm. uh, titled So Much Fun. Mm. And it's and it's slated under hip hop rap. Um, hmm. Is that slander early? <laughs> you, you throw some early okay, slander? All right, so you know I'm not the biggest Young Thug fan. Yeah, right? I figured this was going to be a little bit of ear torture for you. Yeah, it, well, bit. okay, let's, okay, I'm going to start off like this. It okay. wasn't all the way ear torture for me. <laughs> and the reason why it wasn't is because of the features. Yeah. Okay, I really enjoyed a lot of the features. Like, I enjoyed, um, I didn't enjoy Future. I'm sick of Future. I might want Future out of here uh, at this point. Um, Lil Baby, even a track with Gunner wasn't bad. Okay. Uh, the one with Cole, of course, was, was was really dope. Uzi Vert came in and killed it. Yeah. I thought that was a very dope track. Did his thing. Um, absolutely. The, and 21 Savage. I always like a 21 Savage feature. Absolutely. So the features in this album kind of saved it uh, to me to make it listenable. <laughs> oh, when it was wow. just the songs that was just Young Thug. I don't. I, I wonder who this music is for, and I do know that he does have a very big following because his numbers are proven. So um, that he does sell a bunch of records, even physical copies. People really support him, yeah. and I like the fact that he is there for um, the, the young folk can get behind. Yeah. And I hate to even sound like an old, the old man on the fence, but I am going to sound like the old man on the fence <laughs> for coming to reviews like this um, because I, it's not for me, and I, I don't think it's here for me to understand. Um, you know, I like that boom bap, Kev. You know, I, okay. I want. And, and but even with that being said. I appreciate how Thug can like switch his voices up. Mm-hmm. It seems like he's trying. And on this album, it did sound like he was rapping, especially on a song with um, Cole. I know I don't know if he knew he was gonna be on there with some spitters. He's like, I gotta rap. At least put put a good put something good together here. Mm-hmm. But there are times that Young Thug does actually put rapping together, and it doesn't sound horrible. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So I'll give him credit for that. I just like I said. Don't really know if his music, well, I know his music is not for me, okay? <laughs> it's not for me. But with that being said, I do understand Young Thug fans, why they like him. Mm-hmm. I can understand it. It's just when he does the old sticky stuff, the old, uh, you know, just, just wearing the dresses and, you know, doing all these things. And even he had to, you know, come on and say, I'm the most heterosexual guy you know, and, you know, I wear the dress to hide my stick and all that. Like, I don't like all this stuff, man. Um, I but actually I, enjoyed his interviews. I'm not going to lie. I, I'd never watch him. Really? I, never, I, I, I watched a couple of them. I, I've been doing Yeah, and he so almost far. took Lil Wayne out. So I don't know if I rock with him. No, he loves Wayne. Whatever. Man. I'm not buying it. Yeah. I'm not buying it. What'd you think, bro? All right, man. You know, for me, Young Thug albums have been hit or miss. Uh, okay. Just because he changes his style so much. I mean, uh, what we got between Jeffrey and then uh, uh, Beautiful Thugger Girls and Barter Six and, you know, all the other EPs, Super Slimy, you know, the one with uh, Future or whatever. Mm-hmm. They're all like so different. Like I never know quite what I'm gonna get from him. He he bends so many genres. He goes so many you know different directions with his music. I mean, he was doing country songs on uh, Thugger Girls. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess he got punk album on the way. He said, "Oh wow, you know." Yeah. So uh, with so, uh, so much fun, I, I didn't know what we were gonna get, and we got that Quavo cover. I, he, he did better than yeah. that Quavo did with it, but <laughs> whoever that artist is, uh, I see they're all going to him down there. Uh-huh. But man, after I listened to this. I'm, I might have to say, man, this might be the most consistent Thug album I've ever heard. Really? Like, there, there was no change in, in style or pace or anything like that. It was just him rapping. Now, I mean, it, it's him rapping. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he's giving it his style, man. He's got a very kind of melodic flow about him or whatever. But the beats were all very direct. Mm-hmm. They weren't just super trapped out or anything like that. They kind of had like a, a bit of like a, like a spaced out sound to him. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was just getting on there, man, just giving bars. Yeah. He had a ton of features on there, but he did good with everybody. He sounded he sounded great with you know all the features that he had on there. Mm-hmm. I was really surprised, man. Now I, this is definitely his most cohesive work to date. Okay, now it being his his most co- cohesive body of work, uh-huh. are you because it is him? Mm-hmm. Are you put are you basically grading him against himself? So it's the it's like no okay. no it's always against the music. If I enjoy okay. the music, or if I don't, okay. um, but again that's like why well, sometimes I enjoy Young Thug, sometimes I don't because okay. it's like I, I just he's such a mixed bag or you know he's so diverse as an artist mm-hmm. uh, in the different styles that he'll he'll dabble in and I don't always agree with the way it sounds all the time. Uh-huh. But this time around, I felt like you know like you 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 you, jab, you took a little little bam, you know what I'm saying <laughs> talking about he's in the rap category. This is a rap album. Like this is him rapping. Yeah, this is his most. Focused album, you know what I'm saying? It's most concise. Way too long. Uh, I I didn't feel that way, it's man. Way too long. Even though like the production, it all it all blends well together. It never sounded samey, and I think that that's because his voice is so melodic and like he uses it in so many different ways. His voice is really an instrument, you know the way yeah, he yeah, raps. For sure. it, it, you know he's his cadence or whatever can really make or break a beat. Mm-hmm. He like man, I, I'm not gonna lie, man. He surprised me, man. I, okay. I I thought he killed it. But now, you're a fan. You're, the, you're a young thug fan. I don't know. 
know if I go that far. Yeah, I like, I, I like some of his stuff. Uh, yeah, I, it's fair to say I like some of his stuff. Like, I was, yeah. I was looking forward to it. I, I thought, you know, hey, man, maybe he might come with something. Because sometimes, yeah. you know, he, he really show out to me. Sometimes he let me down. Yeah, yeah. Not this time, though. He did not <laughs> let me down, man. He hit the mark. Hit the mark? Hit the mark What'd for you me, man. 81. Okay, I gave it to 70. So, yes, yeah, so I, I, like I said, I'm not a big Thug fan, but I can I understand how people who like Young Thug can appreciate this album. Yeah. You know, so, I don't know. That's what I gave it. But, yo, let us know what you guys think. Was I too high, too low? Was Kev too high, too low? Young Thug fans, if you give it 100, you're absolutely right. Just leave it in the comments. We want to know why. Yeah. And we'll go from there. But I am Nate here. This Kev. Yo, we are Games Music Life, man. Drink more water, people. Peace. Peace.